and we're rolling. Thanks you guys for being on Fab TV. For sure. Thank you for having us. Okay, so what's the hardest part about keeping the band together, keeping like all the feelings and control and staying together? Hmm, the hardest part? Uh, well, we actually did not know each other a year and a half ago before we moved into, I guess, the band house, Heartland, as you might say. <laughs> um, but we, we talk a lot. Um, we are, I would say, a very sappy group of guys. Um, so just communicating all the time if there's ever a problem. I mean, obviously, we're going to get into fights but or disagreements, but... At the end of the day, we love each other. We're here for the same cause. We love music. We love what we're doing, and uh, we're doing it together. So I just think just talking it out, and yeah. Anyone else have anything? You pretty much summed that up right there. That's pretty good. That's cool. I can tell by just by the way you guys are sitting together, you guys really like each other, which is really cool. Yeah. 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 I tolerate. <laughs> I tolerate. All right. Just shove shoulders out. This is a question that just popped in my head. So, No Lonely Hearts, how did you guys come up with that name and why? Mm. Do you want to take it? Um, we actually didn't come up with the name. It was already created, and then they hosted this global audition process. And uh, we all have our own unique stories of how we got to the audition. Some are pretty funny, if maybe you'll hear about that in a little bit. Um, but... Yeah, we didn't come up with the name. It was given to us. We auditioned, and then we joined the band, and it was already like... This is what it is. No so one it's like a formed band? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Extra pressure. <laughs> Extra pressure. That's cool. Sorry. Uh, so, where are you guys all from? Ooh. Uh, we're, we'll yeah, we're, we'll one one. <laughs> we're based out of Orlando, uh, but we're all from all over, so. I'm from Pennsylvania. I am from Orlando, Florida. <laughs> I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm from Dallas, Texas. And I'm from New Jersey. Best experience on the road? Like, you guys met some other band, you met some other band. Like, what's been this one thing? Like, damn, this is this feels good that we're doing this together. Hmm. Does anyone want to take it? I yeah. I really enjoyed Jingle Ball because we went over there and it was one of the first times ever, like, normal people like us met these superstars like charlie puth was there big time rush was there tate mccray and we got to see him in person like we even walked by charlie puth and big time rush and it's like oh my god they're right there they're real it's crazy so i thought that was crazy i definitely have one i definitely have to say playlist live when we performed at playlist live uh, we met a whole bunch of really cool creators and everyone got to like meet a whole bunch of new people and everything and uh that was a really fun experience and a really cool place to perform at so that was definitely one of the favorites for me uh, some of mine are just every time we travel to perform, uh, just finally being able to be in front of people and sing our songs and see the reaction. That's one of my favorite things, finally getting that connection. Um, and we've had a couple all over, so it's been a lot of fun. So what's the emphasis on the title album that you call me back? Like, like, like this girl calling you back, hey, call me back, text me back, is it a, is it a text? Like, what is it? <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, so for this song, we actually worked with an incredible producer, Aaron. Aceta. Aaron, Aaron Aceta, we love you so much, you're incredible. Um, so this was his song, um, and I think we just really resonated with it because it's something that, I mean, everyone's kind of gone through, that first breakup, and you're kind of going through everything in your head, and you're like, hmm, did I mess this up? This person was amazing, this person was incredible, I want them back, and... You can't always get them back, and it sucks, and it's terrible. Um, so just that. Oh, oh no. That's fun. <laughs> 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 it does. It'd be like that. Yeah, for sure. Gorilla marketing right there. Bam. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Everything's falling off. <laughs> 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 yes. Are guys more sensitive on breakups than girls? I think girls can like. No <laughs> way. <laughs> oh, it's just <laughs> falling. <laughs> Oh just no! Stop. I just threw it over. <laughs> That's enough of that. You saw it. You saw the song. It's okay. We'll put it, we'll put it on the screen. So, hey, you guys. My question is kind of like: Are guys more sensitive on a breakup than girls? I feel, I feel like girls are like, "Hey, later, you're done," and we're like, "Hey, we still kind of want to hang out with them." Is that kind of like us <laughs> guys kind of do? I would say guys don't talk about it as much. Uh, once they break up with someone, they kind of like are with themselves. Um, uh, for me personally, I like after my first breakup, I wanted to be by myself. And um, I tried to reach out to people, but I, I really didn't want to at the same time. It's, it, it's very confusing. We don't know how to deal with our feelings. So uh, where are you guys going to be touring next? Ooh. 
That is a good question. Uh, we have a couple ex uh, shows we're super excited about. Red Hot and Boom in Altamont Springs, Orlando. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. Big 4th of July celebration. Uh, JP Sachs, Benson Bone, a lot of really great artists are going to be there. Um, so we're excited about that. And then just seeing where we go after that. <laughs> just always moving. Before you guys were going to go on stage, you guys like huddle, you guys have a pregame post pre yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's all do it like this. Let's not do it like we did in Detroit. Do you guys have something that you say to each other? What, is the, what are those things? Um, you want to get... I mean, before we all go out, we definitely all do our vocal warm-ups and everything, and we get like our voices ready for our performance. And then um, before we go out on stage, we all huddle and like get a little, little group prayer in and everything, and we just... You know, we get excited for the show and we go out there and do what we need to do and perform. What other bands do you guys look up to? Like, who, like, mm. who do you guys want to be sort of like? Mm. Yeah. You want to say it? Yurino say. <laughs> BTS, I would love to be that level. They're just insane, insanely talented. Love those guys. Yeah. Uh, I love NSYNC. Uh, my mom loved NSYNC. I grew up watching them, so. Yeah, I mean, probably going to get the same answers over here, too. All the, all the other boy bands, Backstreet, NSYNC, BTS, definitely. Uh, One Direction. You can keep going if you want. <laughs> yeah, I, I was definitely gonna have to say NSYNC as well. I mean, my dad was a big NSYNC fan, big big Backstreet Boys fan, and uh, also uh, Big Time Rush as well. Those are really cool guys. So yeah. They already said them all, but I just want to be up there with like one of the greats. You know, we're all super happy and to be together and super talented, and we just want to show that and be up there with them. Okay, last question, you guys. How would you guys describe your type of music? What's your type of music like? What is it like? What does it mean? What is it? What's other bands get sort of that kind of style or whatever. I mean, anyone can correct me. It's just, it's us. <laughs> I'll give it to you in a second. It's us. Um, it's very mainstream pop right now, but we all have our own influences. Um, <laughs> this guy's probably tired of hearing it, but he has an amazing R&B <laughs> sound. Um, Alex is very like punk, and it's very cool just to see everyone's different styles come into play um, when we're writing together. So if you listen to our music, you'll just hear us. Um, Alex, I'm going to take it. Uh, I mean, he said it super well. I, I was just going to say, um, for the most part, it's pop, boy band, mainstream pop type sound. But um, like he said, we all come in with like our own little taste, little add a little flavor to everything, a little spice. So maybe you'll hear some new stuff soon, maybe? Yeah, it's definitely cool. What's up, you guys? We are NLH. And we want to give a huge thank you to Fab TV for having us. Come check us out at Red Hot and Boom, July 3rd in Orlando, Florida. See you there. <laughs>